my name is Jenny. Good morning. Yeah. Uh, so we're getting ready for the BBG3. What kind of news do we have? Honestly, Dima, I really think that we have we have a good idea of who we need for this mm -hmm. moving forward. After this second event, I honestly feel like, especially after interviewing the guys, mm -hmm. I think I have an, a pretty clear idea of who we who we want to select. So, okay. do, you have, do, do, you, do, you, do you have some names already? Yeah, I th I'm thinking Jesse Aviles. Jesse Aviles? Yeah. Maybe he is going to be your favorite on the wheel. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I think so. He's young and exciting and he's got some good moves. Nice. We're supposed to find him one uh, interesting opponent. What, what about the fight, his fight against Gonzalo? Oh! I mean, he had all the power moves. Mm -hmm. You could see it. Yes, you he love it. Kept the energy going. Yeah, I loved it. You love it. Uh, we're supposed to find him a little bit, high, uh, little bit harder challenge. What do you think? Yeah, I think we need to find him a a, a good opponent, and I think we have I just have, the right guy. Yeah, I, I have a very interesting guy. Oh, you do? Yes, there is the one Russian. Ivan is training. Uh, he's a professional boxer, and he suggests me to see. His uh, boxer opponent, he, they used to fought against each other for the world title. Nice. Yes, and uh, he strongly suggests coming to my gym and see the guy who I strongly rec uh, recommend you to bring to the wheel as well. So that is the challenge for the Jesse Aviles, I believe. Perfect. Perfect. I want to check him out. Yeah, but there is the completely poor place and computer poor, poor gym. It doesn't scare you. <laughs> No, why would it scare me? I don't know. It's like maybe you train like a 50th Street gym. There is more uh, comfort, like and the people are coming. You already know, so that is completely new. Listen, I'm up for it. No. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, so you you ready for the any surprises here? Yeah? I'm ready for any surprises. Nice. How about the breakfast? Yeah, let's That's do good breakfast. idea to start. Yeah. yeah? Some coffee before. No, thank you. Uh, we go into the gym and um, area like uh, calls Winwood. And let's figure out how the other people are training and chasing their goals uh, through any problems and uh, discomfort like they have right now. We're gonna see. Yeah? That's where the best fighters are coming from. Like, like uh, if you remember, this one Magomedov told yeah. that the best fighters are coming from the poor areas yep. like, and poor stories. And uh, in our case, we're gonna help them. Awesome. If they want, for sure. Let's do it. Let's do it. So we are in the middle of nowhere right now in Miami. We're looking for any and every kind of fighter. And as you can see, it's gonna get interesting. Let's see. Ivanoch. Is the guy, Anthony, to who we come, like, who is gonna spar against uh, Jesse Aviles. Okay. They used to fall together, yeah? Yes, yes, yes. For the yes. world title. Yes, I be a world title. Yeah, and he's gonna be matchmaker in the close future. 18, maybe, maybe. Maybe. But I'm still a professional boxer and I'm still active. But, but you will be helping us for sure. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Definitely. And uh, the guy who is gonna fight your favorite, <laughs> Jason. <Jason. laughs> We're gonna look if he is good enough. Okay. Uh, we are getting ready for the Bad Boys Gloves 3. 
Yes? Yes. Did you, uh, you, you already heard about our show? Yeah. Well, yeah what yeah, do you think? It's a great show. This show, uh, for this show, it's big future. Mm -hmm. And I think everybody like to spar and why not to make a video for YouTube? Yeah. Yeah, and promote this, this show. Yeah. Uh, themselves. Themselves this show. and this show, yeah. Yeah. And also, we're gonna go to the villa. Like yeah. after the, on the second part of the health of, of the year, and there is gonna be a, like tough, you know, you see It's tough. wonderful idea. Yeah, it's wonderful. The, yeah, and the, for everybody, for myself, for. And Jenny is gonna yeah. take the interview in the Jenny's group. Uh -huh. <laughs> they, they will be filming the. Anthony Hart, you're gonna be fighting against Jason in the new future, right? Uh, yeah. How do you feel about that? Uh, feels good actually. I'm quite confident because I've been training hard, so I think you know, I think I got what it takes to you know to just uh, do the business. Yeah, did you see his last fight? Uh, no, I haven't seen it yet. But so you didn't see what he brought to the table? No, but I don't really care so much about him. <laughs> I just make sure to do my business, focus on yourself, of course. It. But he has some pretty good moves. Right. Yeah. I mean, that's. I mean, some I got punches. some pretty good moves too. So I'm thinking, okay. if we're gonna if we're gonna dance together, it's good that he has some moves too because yeah. then it's gonna be a good, you know. Then it'll be more challenging. Exactly. For sure. Awesome. What are you doing to prepare in the days? Well, up? Uh, I'm training with the world champion himself, so mm. that's kind of good. Uh, and uh, you know, we're working quite hard together, uh, doing a lot of the boxing drills. Uh, also doing a lot of strength training, so you know, it's just the basics, keep, keeping it basic, but still making sure that you progress. For sure. Yeah. Are you doing anything other than boxing, like to keep yourself in shape? Well, uh, I am. I'm, you know, I'm doing some running. I'm doing some strength training. I have a strength trainer uh, that I'm doing some work with. Nice. Uh, yeah, and also I have a dietist, making sure that my diet's on point. And oh all wow. That. Yeah. So yeah, that's important. Yeah. So it's very. It's a very professional. Um, Sounds very calculated. Yeah, that's it. Very, very professionally calculated. Yeah. Everything. yeah. Do you play any other sports? Uh, <laughs> no, but I actually started with judo. Okay. So yeah, so judo was the thing, and then I just went from there to kickboxing. Nice. But then I realized, oh, I don't like the kicking, I like the boxing, so that's how <laughs> I progressed to boxing. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what is it about this location that draws you here? Well, I mean, it's, it's the atmosphere, you know, everyone here is hungry, everyone here wants to train, wants to become the best, mm. and I want to train where everyone's, you know, got that mindset, because then I know that that's going to bring the best out of me as well. So, and I feel like I can get it here. Absolutely, I agree 100%. Right. And um, have you heard about the villas that we're going to be shooting in in the near future? Uh, I have. I've, I've heard about it. I haven't seen too much about it yet, but uh, it's going to be very interesting to see because yeah. everything that you guys do right now uh, feels very professional, and it makes me very excited. For sure. How do you feel about uh, possibly shooting and fighting in a in a nice area like a villa? Well, I think uh, I think that's first of all going to bring uh, bring the uh, curious lookers. You know, everyone's going to want to see that because they're going to go, oh, what's what's going on here? Why why are they shooting? Why are they fighting in this very uh, cool location? You know, and it, it also gives you that kind of uh, feel that it's exclusive. You know, exclusive. And it's, yeah, yeah, exactly. And it's for like the best only. You know? Absolutely. Yeah. So definitely want you to be part of that. So you got to show up for that 100. percent So Anthony, there's a show, that, another show that you participated in. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Yeah, exactly. It was a show we did in Sweden, and uh, this show is about you training and and see if you got what it takes to become uh, an elite special forces. Uh, nice. Yeah. So that's what this, basically what we did was we we went through the same training mm. uh, that that the special forces do to see if they can qualify to wow. get into that. Yeah. So it was eight days of hard hard work uh, and obviously they were they were filming it uh, but I can say that we forgot that it was a show it, it was like a training camp for us you know we forgot about uh, the cameras we forgot about everything because they drilled us like 24 7 we, we didn't let us sleep we didn't eat uh, wow so was, that sounds it, intense it was very very intense it, it was one of the worst things I've done in my life but <laughs> also but also one of the best things I've done nice yeah. nice so you're definitely uh, mentally and physically prepared. Yeah, if to anything, say the least. Yeah, if anything, it gave me more confidence in myself. You know that I have that that mental uh, strength 
because For sure. because uh, physically you know yeah it's important to be physically strong but we realized during the show that mentally is what matters 100 percent. yeah agreed you're very comfortable being in front of the camera and sounds like you're not going to be camera shy when it comes down to the show no exactly i mean yeah. if, if anything i'm quite used to the cameras anyways because i've been doing like i've been fighting on tv uh with you know i was in the olympics as well and did a lot of interviews uh coming into the olympics so if anything i've got that media experience a little bit so i feel like yeah Sounds so I like feel we like, got a candidate right here <laughs> <laughs> so i feel like you know i have some some of that going for me and also i do want to work with tv when i go back to sweden and after the career and stuff so yeah we'll see awesome all right anthony well thank you so much for the interview and i hope that you join us on bad boy gloves to meet your opponent jesse Aviles. yes of course <laughs> yes i will awesome <laughs> thank you thank you opinion about the, what's going on around yeah I mean I think that place has really good energy I saw all the fighters mm -hmm. and Ivan seems really nice mm -hmm. and Anthony seems like he's got what it takes without a doubt <laughs> okay so you do you do think that for the Jesse, Jesse Avilis he's gonna be a very tough opponent yeah I think he's gonna be the perfect opponent for him yeah and what about his talking his talking, I think he's going to have to prove it. I mean, he's talking a lot of talk, so I think we'll have to wait and see. <laughs> you will punch him for this. For sure. He seems super confident. He seems like he's got his mindset together. He seems like he's been preparing. Yeah, so you... you More than Jesse, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> so you will prepare some tricks for him, yeah? For sure. Nice. Uh, what about the streets? Can, can you imagine the, the guys like world title uh, fighters? Uh, they... Uh, they're fighting on this kind of streets, like around. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it is village or it is Miami? Is it Miami or what? Honestly, it, it just goes to show you, you can come from anywhere and mm -hmm. you can still bring your toughest game. Doesn't matter where you come from. Yeah, but uh, definitely there is the very good opponent for the main event BBG too. I think we got the right opponent. Uh, we will see Have they done in the ring right now at the training space. We already saw them. We're gonna see some other guys. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so I think we uh, we got to see this location and we got to scout some pretty good opponents here and we'll continue to look for, for more fighters. See yeah. who's gonna make it to the villa. See you on the YouTube channel. See you on YouTube. Bye. <laughs>